it's important to self-identify because you're putting yourself out there for uh, other people to see. I think it's important to self-identify because it's part of your past and your history. I think it's important because it's a way for you to get to learn more about yourself and more about a culture you might not be familiar with. It identifies who I am and it's what I grew up, it's my beliefs and my values. It's important to self-identify because it's who you identify yourself as, not where others try to describe who you are, it's who you are naturally. It's important to self-identify because it lets others know about who you are as an individual and it lets others also know about your culture. I think it's important to self-identify because I would want people to know what I've accomplished and I want them to know that I'm proud of myself. I'm proud to be a Nakoda Soup person from Treaty 6 territory because of what my elders and my ancestors fought for. They've been through a lot and like th to this day they remain strong about it. Like after the residential schools, the 60s school, the day schools and all the trauma that they've been put through. And I'm here because of them. They fought for that. And that's what makes them strong and that's what makes me strong because it's in my identity as an indigenous person. I am proud to be First Nations and I think it is important for other First Nations, Métis, and Inuit kids to feel a sense of belonging and pride in our school division. It's important for students to self-identify for two reasons. Um, one is for inclusion, so that our division and staff know of the uh, amount of Indigenous students that we have in our communities and in the school, so we can help support um, these students with resources and programs. And then the second part is ensuring that we have those programs and resources in place to help them successfully graduate school and be successful in school. Sometimes it's as easy as checking off a box on a census or on an application form to high school, maybe even next year's registration form. But if you're not able to do that, there's almost always somebody at the school, whether it's a grade coordinator or a counselor, or it might be an actual Indigenous facilitator or an off-campus coordinator who is willing to talk to young people about uh, their background and about self-identifying and then helping them to access those supports that are available. And they are numerous, especially in the work experience community. There are organizations in Alberta that will help young Indigenous people get jobs and get training that uh, is not always available for everybody else. So if you're an Indigenous student, um, at the beginning of every year on your registration form you can let your parents know. There's a section on the form that says that you can self-identify as being Indigenous. If you're in the higher grades and you're in the middle of the school year, then you want to talk to somebody at Student Services, you want to talk to a grade coordinator or even a principal and indicate to them that you are First Nations, Métis or Inuit and they will help you with those supports that are available. I am Northern Toshoni from Kwanzaa First Nation. I am Inuit and originally from Nunavut. I am First Nation Stoney. I am Squamish from the territory of Joe Kitsilano. I am Métis. I am Métis. I am Cree from Sturgeon Lake. I am Cree from Big Stone Cree Nation. I am Stony Cree from Paul First Nation. I am Stony from Paul First Nation. I am from Paul's First Nation. And I am from Paul First Nation. We are Parkland School Division students and teachers. Together, we are community.